The major overcrowding problems at several Pasco County schools forcing the district now to make some big changes. Some schools are set to be rezoned and students will be sent to schools out of their home area. ABC Action News reporter Rodney Dunnigan is live right now at River Ridge High School. He's looking deeper into this issue this morning. Rodney, there's a meeting plan for that school tonight, but this idea is not sitting well with parents. Well, especially for those families that are being directly impacted, the school district is asking for patience this morning, simply saying that a final decision has not been made. Well, first, we need to keep in mind that, that there haven't been any decisions made yet. So I think there are a lot of assumptions being made at this point in time. So there are some people who think that they might be rezoned and there actually may not. So I think we need to keep an open mind at this, at this point in the process. The committee looking into overcrowding issues has come up with four possible rezoning options for West Pasco County Schools. The district says Mitchell High School and Seven Springs Middle School are extremely overcrowded, while other schools are near under capacity. However, parents stress to us it's simply not right. They moved into their specific communities for a reason. For many, it was the schools. So that changes everything. That changes the opportunity for after school activities. Um, before school activities, it changes how early my wife or I would have to get them up in the morning and get them to school, how late they might get picked up. It changes everything. Now, just to give you an example of the issues at hand, the district says Mitchell High School is 118% capacity, so the district says something has to be done. Now, that meeting here starts at 6 o'clock tonight. At that point, parents will have their opportunity to basically give their say on exactly what's going on here. The district says they plan to have a final plan by February 1st. Reporting live from Pasco County, Rodney Dunnigan, ABC Action News.